time for a much needed Plant Diaries update. There have been quite a few changes and uh, I'm going to show them to you guys. So we've got the two additions to the Calathea family. This one is the medallion one and then this one, I'm not sure which one this one is off the top of my head, but they're all the Calathea plants and I don't know if I'm saying that right. And then also the one with the pink stripes as well as part of that. Found these planters at Marshall's today. They're not exactly what I was looking for, but it'll do for now. So these plants are thriving since I brought them home yesterday. To the thyme plant to the back room and this window ledge specifically because this is the north window. So it doesn't get as much light. I didn't realize that it's only supposed to get like three to six hours of partial shade. So it was getting scorched. And we got the little succulent situation here. We've got the leaves that are propagating. We have the cuttings that are already rooted going through. So even though that plant, I had to say bye to those um, plants, I was able to get some of these rooted. And then we have the ones that are waiting for roots to grow. So yeah, we got a nice little system here. And then my little fairy tale castle cactus. I decided to move it into this like massive pot because apparently this cacti can grow super, super large. I finally found a pot for this. I was gonna say little guy, but he's not so little. Uh, I found this one at Home Goods. It's not quite as big as I wanted it to be, but it's definitely big enough for this plant. And I don't know, looks happy. I did a little bit of pruning on the bottom, but overall this plant is pretty content. These little guys are doing okay. No issues. The aloe, the T-Rex aloe pups are doing good. These aren't even all of them. I'm going to show you guys where the other ones are. And this is the most exciting thing that's going on for this Plant Diaries. Okay, so I wanted a way that I could get certain plants a lot more light, like a lot of the succulents and stuff like that. But obviously you only have so much windowsill space on a window that has a lot of lighting. So one of our south facing, or no, south, uh, west facing windows that gets a lot of light later in the day is um, a window that like doesn't open. I don't know or know why. It just like, they just install these windows that just don't open. It's kind of bizarre. But I was like, I want to get something to fit into that window to allow for multiple plants. And you'll see it's a very long window. So I was like, does something like this exist? I looked into it, I found maybe one, but it just wasn't what I wanted. So we built it. I told um, Abel's dad the idea and he was so excited about it and we made it happen. And this is it. So I wanted to make sure that these shelves were skinny enough that if we want to close the blinds, we can. And then we replaced the windowsill down here with a slightly like wider one so that I could put larger plants on the bottom if I want to, but still be able to close the blinds for the most part. I honestly don't think we'll probably end up closing the blinds because I really like how this looks and how it turned out. But you see I have like tons of space for lots and lots of plants without having to take up floor space or buy another shelf that's going to take up floor space and i just think it looks really pretty i love it so much so as far as these plants they're thriving here's some of the t-rex pups that i had taken out these are some of that plant that passed away i did get some new pots so i will link them in that same little list so you guys can check them out but yeah we got lots of growth happening this is the plant that i picked up a couple days ago it's an aloe variety and i put it in this pot and it's much happier i watered the crap out of it because it was a little dried out and so is luna this is one of the plants i picked up the other day at that other nursery and i put it in this pot that i had bought for one of the bigger plants but it was 
too small of a pot. I'm not sure what this plant is called yet, but I will find out. But it's got this really pretty, like dark purple, red magenta look to it. This plant is also super happy. It was a little dried out from the nursery. And this guy, I don't know if you guys remember when I brought him home a few days ago, he was, he was pretty, but he wasn't like this pretty. I watered him thoroughly and he just like came alive. This is a Swiss trees plant. It's like not the official name, obviously, but it's the name that goes by because of the holes that it develops as it gets older. I also moved it to this corner because they grow in the jungle, so they have a lot of tree cover. They're not used to like direct light, so. Elephant ear plant is doing really, really well. Moved it a little bit closer to the light. Fiddle leaf fig is doing well. I started misting both of these plants to help with humidity, and I've also been pouring um, water in the bottom because this little lid or whatever is keeping it from outside of the water, but that water evaporates and provides humidity for it, but he's like super happy. This little guy's doing well. These guys are doing really well. Dill, not doing well. And from what I've read, they don't like to be inside. I put it in this window that gets a lot of direct light, but he's still not very content. But I've also read that it's really hard to grow dill down here. This guy, is a last minute purchase <laughs> yeah we bought more plants it's a coral cactus but i just thought it was so pretty these guys are thriving look at all this new growth on this cactus i've never seen this cactus do anything lots of new growth on this guy i'm going to be cutting off the smaller succulents because they're stretching they just need way more light they're a little crowded in there so I'm gonna pull those out and uh, yeah those two that are stretching are like from my wedding they're just like I'm over it I want to get some light <laughs> I don't know I'm tired I haven't had Red Bull yet but yeah these guys are doing good I got a majesty poem for Abel's office and it was, was really beautiful and it was doing great until Abel left it outside on a ledge and it took a jump <laughs> <laughs> and some of the the fronds got bent but yeah it's really pretty though bonsai is doing good too moved the calathea ornata into my office because I know these plants don't like a lot of crazy light and they do well in like dim settings and my office does have an east facing window but I usually always have the blinds down but I feel like it's already happier in here. It was getting a little burned, even when I was trying to keep it from the light in that back room. The back room just gets so much sun. I also picked up this little guy yesterday from Lowe's. I don't know, I just thought the texture was so, so interesting. He's a little rough. He was the nicest one they had, but I'll buy them. This is a Moon Valley friendship plant. I don't know but they like low light, so I also put it in here. But I don't know, it's just so unique. I just love a good, unique looking plant. All right, so we're gonna wrap it up with the outdoor plants. The basil was getting pretty unruly, so we had to do some pruning. We just don't use basil enough. Tomato plant, meh, it's still alive. I picked up lavender yesterday. I find it really hard to find fresh lavender. I don't know why but I'm excited about this one. This is the star of the show here, the jalapeno plant. We already harvested a jalapeno earlier this week. We've got these two boys thriving. We've got another one back here. We've got a lot of flowers, another one over here. I mean, there's gonna be a lot coming from here. The Tabasco plant is growing, looks really strong, not flowering, not doing much. And the Serrano, I think, is trying to come through. But, yeah, I don't know what's happening here. So you, we see one growing here. And there's lots of flowers and flowers are falling off. They're doing the whole cycle. But we have yet to see a full-on Serrano happening. Dusty Miller's doing good, thriving. 
and I know I said we were ending with the outdoor plants, but there's one more plant I can't forget. So the last plant is some pet grass for uh, Skittles' windowsill. I don't even think she knows it exists or even cares about it, but it's there. Skittles, Psst. what do you think? What do you think, Skittles?